Hello children, welcome back to your maths class with Poonam Bagga. We are studying chapter 4, quadratic equations. We now know how to solve a given quadratic equation. We can solve it either by using the method of factorization or by using the method of completing the square or even by using the quadratic formula. We also know that a quadratic equation can have at most two roots and today we are going to discuss about the nature of roots. For this we go back to the quadratic formula which says that if b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0 then the roots of equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 can be given by this formula. And in this formula focus on this expression b square minus 4ac. It is known as the discriminant of the equation. This we already know but here we will be discussing the role that it plays in deciding the nature of the roots. The roots depend on the value of the discriminant of an equation and so if the equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then the equation has two distinct real roots. Iska matlab agar kisi equation ke discriminant ki value 0 se badi hai iska matlab positive hai tab us equation ke do real roots honge aur dono hi distinct honge alag alag roots honge same nahi honge and then the roots are given by this formula yahan par beech mein plus minus dono hai to hame do roots milenge dono alag alag kaise milenge jab hum ek bar beech mein plus ko consider karenge और एक बार हम बीच में माइनस को कंसीडर करेंगे हमने कई सारे एग्जांपल सॉल्व किए हैं जहां हमें इक्वेशन के दो डिस्टिंक्ट रूट्स मिले हैं और वही यहां पर हमें बताया जा रहा है तो कब हमें इक्वेशन के दो डिस्टिंक्ट रियल रूट्स मिलेंगे जब b2 4ac की वैल्यू पॉजिटिव होगी ग्रेटर देन 0 होगी नाउ इफ b2 4ac इज इक्वल टू 0 देन द इक्वेशन विल हैव टू इक्वल रियल रूट्स and then the roots will be given by minus b by 2a minus b by 2a. Agar hum is expression mein d ki jaga yahan par 0 replace kare to dekhe kya milega under root 0 ho jayega kyunki d ki value ya keh lijiye b square minus 4ac ki value 0 hai aur niche denominator mein 2a. Is se hume milega minus b plus minus 0 upon 2a because square root of 0 is 0 itself. और यहां से हमें मिलेगा minus b plus 0 upon 2a और minus b minus 0 upon 2a और both ways we will get minus b upon 2a minus b upon 2a तो जब भी discriminant की value 0 होगी तब ऐसे case में roots हमें किस से मिलेंगे इस expression से minus b upon 2a minus b upon 2a और ऐसे case में दोनों ही roots equation के equal है or yes they are real also and if now b square minus 4ac is less than 0 this means if it is negative then the equation will have no real roots equation ke real roots nahi honge tab honge imaginary roots jo aap apni higher classes mein padhenge aur ye roots real kyon nahi honge kyunki aap dekhe is expression mein b square minus 4ac square root ke under mein hai or negative value ka square root it does not have a real value so the equation will not have real roots if b square minus 4ac is negative now we take some examples and get a better understanding here it is example number 16 find the discriminant of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 and hence find the nature of its roots so nature kaise pata karenge इसके लिए हमें इसके डिस्क्रिमिनेंट की वैल्यू निकालनी होगी और वो हमें मिलेगा b square minus 4ac से तो पहले हम इस इक्वेशन को कंपेयर करते हैं ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 से और a, b, c की वैल्यूज फाइंड आउट करते हैं सो कंपेयरिंग दी इक्वेशन विद ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we get a as 2 which is the coefficient of x square b is equal to minus 4 coefficient of x and c is equal to 3. Now the value of discriminant it is given by b square minus 4ac. Yahan par rakhte hai b hai aapka minus 4 square it minus 4 into a is 2 and 
c is 3 this gives us 16 minus 4 to the 8 3 is a 24 and here it is minus 8 now what do we see it is a negative value or we say here d is less than 0 therefore the equation has no real roots kyunki yahan par discriminant ki value negative hai isliye equation ke real roots possible nahi hai so here we have found the nature of roots of this equation then we have one more example example 17 a pole has to be erected at a point on the boundary of a circular park of diameter 13 meters in such a way that the differences of its distances from two diametrically opposite fixed gates A and B on the boundary is 7 meters. Is it possible to do so? If yes, at what distances from the two gates should the pole be erected? For this, let us first draw a circular park. Let this be the circular park and now here we are talking about its diameter or yahan diya hai ki diameter ke opposite ends par do fixed gates hai A or B. To iske liye pehle hum ek diameter draw karte hai. Let this be the diameter. This be point A, this be point B where we have two gates of this circular park. Thik hai? Now one pole has to be erected on the boundary of the park such that the difference of its distances from A and B is 7 meters. So, we can see that here we are pole P khada kar rahe hai. Hai? Now, the distance of pole P from B and A. We will join it This is the distance from gate A and this is the distance from gate B. Okay? Now, let us take one of them to be X and one of them to be Y. यहां हमसे यही तो पूछा है at what distances from the two gates should the pole be erected तो हम मान लेते हैं कि इस pole का distance है gate B से x meters और gate A से है distance y meters okay now it has been given the diameter is 13 meters so we mark it here और इन दोनों distances का difference हमें दिया हुआ है it is 7 meters. Yes, here. So, we have to ask the first question is that is situation possible or not? For this, we will make an equation from the information and we will see that the quadratic equation is coming. We will take the discriminant from that and see that the real roots are possible or not. If the real roots are real roots possible or not, then the situation is possible or not. Otherwise, it is not. तो यहां पर हम चलते हैं इसको लिखते हैं let the location of the pole be p then the distance of the pole from gate b we are taking it equal to x meters ठीक है let the distance of the pole from the gate a it be y meters अब यहां हमें ये नहीं बताया गया है क्वेश्चन में कि कौन सा डिस्टेंस बड़ा है और कौन सा डिस्टेंस छोटा है तो हम अपनी मर्जी से किसी को भी बड़ा ले लेंगे या तो आप x को बड़ा ले लीजिए या फिर आप y को बड़ा ले सकते हैं द डिफरेंस ऑफ द डिस्टेंसेस ऑफ द पोल फ्रॉम द टू गेट्स लेट इट बी y minus x ठीक है हमने क्या लिया इसको बड़ा मानते हुए चल रहे हैं y मीटर्स को तो y minus x और ये डिफरेंस हमें दिया हुआ है 7 मीटर्स सो दिस इज इक्वल टू 7 मीटर्स यहां से हमें y की वैल्यू मिल जाएगी x plus 7 ठीक है तो ये हमें y का एक्सप्रेशन मिल गया x की टर्म्स में नाउ लुक एट दिस ट्रायंगल दिस इज अ ट्रायंगल नेम्ड ABP और यहां पर इस एंगल के बारे में आप क्या कह सकते हैं जस्ट हैव अ लुक बिकॉज़ दिस इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल तो ये जो आर्क है ये एक सेमी सर्कल है आर्क ए पी बी ये एक सेमी सर्कल है और सेमी सर्कल का एंगल 90 डिग्री होता है इसलिए ये एंगल पी जो होगा ये है 90 डिग्री एंगल और इससे ये ट्रायंगल एक राइट ट्रायंगल हो गया और यहां हम तीनों साइड्स को कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं बाय पाइथागोरस थ्योरम सो लेट अस प्रोसीड वी राइट हियर 
Now AB equal to 13 meters and since AB is a diameter, so angle APB this will be equal to 90 degree. You can write in the bracket since the angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Ye hum yahan par likh rahe hai reason ki kyun ye angle 90 degree hai. Therefore, in triangle APB by Pythagoras theorem we will have the hypotenuse is this side of 13 meters 90 degree ke opposite jo side hoti hai wo hypotenuse hota hai aur wo yahan par hai 13 meters to yahan hum likhenge 13 square it is equal to x square plus y square and this is again 30 square equal to x square plus y ki jagah ab hum yahan se le lenge dekhiye x plus 7 let this be equation number 1 ठीक है तो x plus 7 रखेंगे y की जगह x plus 7 whole square here you can write from equation number 1 now expand this square term you will have this as 169 here we have x square plus x square 2 into 7 it will be 14 and then 14 x plus 7 square which will be 49 take this 169 to the RHS you will have 2x square plus 14x plus 49 minus 169 and then equal to 0. जब ये उधर चली गई RHS में तो यहाँ कुछ भी नहीं बचा तो आप चाहें तो इसको यहाँ पर equal to 0 लिखें या हमने उधर लिख दिया है equal to 0 और x square plus x square से हमें मिल गया है 2x square. Now again we get 2x square plus 14x minus if you subtract you will have it 120 here equal to 0. Ab ye tino hi coefficients 2 se divisible hai. So let us divide by 2. We get x square plus 7x minus 60 equal to 0. Now we have to check whether this situation is possible or not. For this we will find the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So this is a quadratic equation comparing it with the general form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we will get the values a equal to 1, b equal to 7, c equal to minus 60. और अब हम d की वैल्यू निकालते हैं जो हमें मिलता है b square minus 4 a c से और b है 7, so 7 square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus 60. This gives us 49 और ये minus minus हो गया plus 4 into 60 it will be 240. If we add it comes out equal to 289. And now since d is greater than 0, this means the equation will have two distinct real roots. We write here since d is greater than 0, therefore the equation will have two distinct real roots. And hence the situation is possible. We see here the given quadratic equation has two real roots and it is possible to erect the pole on the boundary of the park. Is this situation possible? And since the equation has two distinct real roots, this means that this situation is possible. It is possible to erect the pole on the boundary of the park. Now we will be solving the equation and getting two roots by which we will be getting the distances of the pole from the two gates. So solving the quadratic equation x square plus 7x minus 60 equal to 0, ye wahi equation hai jo abhi hume mili thi. 
by the quadratic formula we get x equal to minus b b ki jagah hum rakh rahe hain 7 plus minus under root b square minus 4ac aur uski value abhi abhi humne nikali thi jo hame mili thi 289 upon 2 into a which is 1 here this will be minus 7 plus minus square root of 289 is 17 and upon 2 from here we get x equal to minus 7 plus 17 by 2 or x equal to minus 7 minus 17 upon 2 this gives us x equal to 10 by 2 that is 5 or x equal to minus 24 by 2 this is equal to minus 12 now since x is the distance of the pole from gate b so it cannot be negative kyunki x ek distance hai to negative nahi ho sakta we will ignore this value and we will take x equal to 5 we write here since x is the distance between the pole and the gate b it must be positive so we take x equal to 5 and thus the distance of the pole from the gate b is 5 meters and the distance of the pole from gate a which was y will be given as y equal to x plus 7 here we have 5 plus 7 equal to 12 meters so pole ka distance hai gate b say 5 meters or gate a say 12 meters so in this way we have solved this situation now we have one more example example 18 find the discriminant of the equation this one and hence find the nature of its roots find them if they are real so here we have an equation and first we have to find the nature of roots and for that we will find the discriminant so comparing the equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we get the values of a b and c a will be the coefficient of x square that is 3 here b is the coefficient of x which is minus 2 and c is the constant which is 1 upon 3 now d is given by b square minus 4 a c b is minus 2 whole square minus 4 into a is 3 and c is 1 by 3 3 say 3 cancel ho jayega aur yaha kya hoga minus 2 square which will be 4 and minus 4 this is equal to 0 this means that the equation will have two equal real roots since d is equal to 0 the equation will have two equal real roots given by minus b upon 2a and minus b upon 2a this means that x will be either equal to minus b ki jage a jayega minus 2 or niche hai 2 into a hai aapka 3 this will be equal to 4 by 6 or again x will be equal to 4 by 6 dono roots equal honge minus b by 2a minus b by 2a se milenge to pehla root hume mil gaya yaha par b ki value rakh di humne minus 2 or niche 2 into a is 3 so we are getting 4 by 6 or second root bhi yehi hoga same 4 by 6 again on simplifying we will get x equal to 2 by 3 on dividing by 2 or x equal to again 2 by 3 therefore the roots of the equation are Two by three and two by three. So today we learnt how to decide the nature of roots of a given quadratic equation. In our next class, we will take up exercise four point four based on this. I hope it is clear. Goodbye.